Uh, this is a description of the startup of a reflux FO fail open, a single regulator without a monitor. The regulator and any other equipment, slam shut, monitor, are normally supplied already set for the desired set point. It is possible for various reasons such as vibration during transport for the setting to be changed while remaining within the values permitted by the springs used. Make sure the installation is done per all local codes and standards. Make sure the regulator is piped per the operations and maintenance manual. After installation, check inlet valve 5, outlet valve 6, block valves, and any bypass or bleed valves, valve 4, to be sure they are closed. Before startup, doing a check of the system is recommended to make sure the conditions conform to the specifications of the equipment. The regulator pressurization operation must be carried out very slowly. To protect the regulator from damage, the following operations must never be carried out. Pressurization through a valve located downstream of the regulator. Depressurization through a valve located upstream of the regulator. Bubble test the regulator connections under line pressure to make sure you do not have any leaks. When installing regulators on dual runs, we suggest commissioning one line at a time, starting with the line with the lower set point, known as the reserve line. Make sure the upstream and downstream block valves, valves 5 and 6, are closed. Make sure that any sense lines located upstream of the downstream block valve, valve 6, are open. Make sure there is a bleed valve downstream of the regulator, valve 4, separate from the pilot sensing line. Back off the pilot spring adjustment screw, 3, all the way. Open the bleed valve, valve 4, very slowly, then open the inlet on-off valve, valve 1, to the pilot. The pressure will increase very slowly and you will begin to bleed gas through the bleed valve to purge the system and the pressure will start to build slowly. Close the bleed valve, valve 4, and the pressure in the system will continue to build. The regulator is now open. As the regulator gets close to its set point, the regulator's travel indicator, visible on top of the regulator, will begin to close. It will continue to close and the regulator will shut off and then lock up. Make sure the pressure stabilizes and the downstream pressure does not build. Slowly turn the pilot spring adjustment screw 3 in several turns. The regulator will open again and the downstream pressure will build. The regulator is now open and as the regulator gets close to its set point, the regulator's travel indicator will begin to close. It will continue to close and the regulator will shut off and then lock up. Slowly open the inlet block valve, valve 5, to the regulator and as the pressure increases to the inlet pressure, the balancing piston will engage you will hear a ping or a clunk sound in the top of the regulator. Partially open the downstream bleed valve, valve 4, and check the set pressure of the regulator. Slowly adjust the pilot screw, 3, in clockwise to increase the pressure, or out counterclockwise to decrease the pressure, and once the pressure is set, the regulator is now ready for service. The regulator is now ready for service, so slowly open the downstream block valve, valve 6, line, and once flow begins, check the position indicator of the regulator to make sure it is moving and the regulator should begin to operate. After the flow stabilizes, make any final adjustment to the pilot set screw, 3, to adjust the regulator to the desired set point. Shutdown to keep the line in service for later use. The regulator is now ready for shutdown. 
Slowly close the downstream block valve, valve 6, keeping inlet pressure on the regulator and pilot. If you intend on keeping the line ready for service, leave everything as is. Or, if you're shutting the line down for maintenance or repair, the regulator is now ready for shutdown. Slowly close the downstream block valve, valve 6 line. If taking the line down for maintenance, slowly close the inlet block valve to the regulator, valve 5. Very slowly shut the inlet on off pilot valve, valve 1. Partially open the bleed valve, valve 4, and slowly lower the pressure of the station. Dropping the pressure too fast does not give the gas a chance to outgas from the rubber components and you could cause damage to the diaphragms and o-rings. Lock out the downstream block valve, valve 6, inlet block valve to the regulator, valve 5, and inlet on-off pilot valve, valve 1. Once all the gas is evacuated from the line and the pressure reads zero PSIG, you can now work on the equipment.